be good. You know, I'm a magician. See this? I'm going to stick these mortars to this using my magic powers. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Magician, I told you. Now I have to attach a caster wheel to it. But I don't have one and I'm not going to buy one because because you are a miser. No, I'm not a miser. Maybe a little bit. But I do have a roll-on, which is the thing that you roll on your forehead. And it works the same. You can see it has some sort of ball or something like that, which can move freely. So then why should I buy one? It will be good for my thing. Now let's shorten it. Who would use this? I use this. Ha ha ha! Darn it! It's ready here. Just touch it. Now let's wire up things. Before that, what's the basic idea behind a line following robot? Hmm? We usually use an IR sensor module for sensing the dark lines. That is, the IR rays falling on the dark substance will not get reflected. So, we all know another fact that if light falls on a dark colored substance, most of the light falling on it will be absorbed by it. So, using the same principle, we can substitute the IR sensor module with an LDR. And LDR is light dependent resistor. As its name suggests, dependent on the light falling on it. So if the LDR enters a dark line, the resistance will be varied. And here I have placed the LDR on a, on top of a curve board. You don't have to do it, it's not necessary. And here I have a 5, it goes to 5 volt and this is for the ground. And here I have placed a resistor, it's for the voltage divider action and this goes to the analog pin of the Arduino. Here we go, I have placed my Arduino here and the LDR is over here. And I'm going to cover these LDRs around the LDRs with a black tape so that they won't absorb light from other sources. Now we have to connect these two motors to the motor driver. Why am I connecting it to the motor driver? It is because the Arduino cannot give sufficient current for these motors to drive. What to say? It was all going wrong. Because of this stupid weak cardboard, it always bended and the wheels will touch it and the wheels won't spin. So what I did was I replaced it with a much more durable and strong plastic. So now they won't touch each other. So it solved my problem. And I have also attached two LEDs over here for a little bit of show and also for balancing the reflection and for setting the correct threshold values. Yeah, as you can see I have changed the base with a much more harder plastic and here we have the two sensors over here and here we have a brain that is our Arduino and this is the motor drivers and here we have the two motors and this is our battery pack and here we have our caster, caster wheel and that's it that's our new look
Here we go, this is our line and our robot will be going all the way up to here. So let's see, is it working or not? Hope you enjoyed it and if you do so it's up to this channel would be tremendous and have you guys noticed one thing i have changed our logo a bit and let me know in the comments below if you did like this one or the previous one and have a great day ahead oh wait i have one more trick for you guys see this is video for us i'll catch you in the next one